Hi everybody, welcome back to Simply Scuba. I was a little surprised at myself that I hadn't done a top tip video on bolt snaps of all things yet. Uh, I mean, I've done plenty of videos about bolt snaps as I'm sure you are painfully aware by now, but not an actual video in this top tip series. So I spent a good while thinking about tips and advice that I had about bolt snaps. So let's dive straight in. Bolt snaps all tend to look very similar and you'll sometimes find good bolt snaps disappearing when you've turned your back. If you have a nice bolt snap that has a really smooth action and is really easy to use, try to mark it in some way so that if there's any confusion, it's really obvious that this is your bolt snap. Tie something onto it, wrap some tape around the body, just something distinctive so that you know that this one is yours and they can get their dirty mitts off of it. Brass bolt snaps exist, even though they shouldn't really. Brass on paper is quite a smart choice for scuba diving because it can't rust and it's a bit lighter, but brass is a pretty soft metal, so it will bend and disform, and the action is often quite sticky, as brass on brass isn't as smooth as stainless steel, so if you are using a brass double ender, do yourself a favor and upgrade to stainless steel. There are different length bolt snaps for different uses. For double enders, a handy, they're a handy tool for like reels and spools. That's kind of what they're made for, anything with like a, a line basically. But they do come in different lengths. For colder waters, you want longer bolt snaps. So it's just easier to use with gloves. But in warmer waters where you have dexterity in your hands, you can opt for a smaller size. So depending on where you're diving, kind of denotes the length of double ender that you need. With single bolt snaps, the size and shape of them denote their use. If the bolt snap has a teeny tiny eye and the bolt snap itself is just overall pretty small, then it's for securing second stages or for attaching to a tool, like a torch or something, where you want to be able to secure that tool to something, but not have this huge bolt snap dangling off of it. A large eye is for heavier objects like cylinders or attaching onto hoses on your SPG or something. Basically anywhere where you need better control of that item so that you can basically poke a finger through that eyelet and then get a good hold of the bolt snap and then where the bolt snap goes. It's always too handy to have at least one spare double ender clipped off somewhere on your person whilst you're diving because they're not fixed like a single. Double enders can detach or fumble in the water and if you don't have a pocket to store whatever it is that the double ender's fallen off of, then you just kind of have to hold on to it for the rest of the dive. So a spare double ender somewhere doesn't take up much space in a pocket or clipped off to a D-ring, but it can be very useful. All bolt snaps for diving will have a spring gate that doesn't lock. As long as you push on that trigger downwards, it will always open, hopefully, unless it's seized up or whatever. But for some added security, you can lock a line when it's attached to a reel or a spool by wrapping that line around the hook and the trigger of the bolt snap once, and then passing it back through the gate for a little bit of added security. So it's a lot harder for it to just detach. All steel will eventually rust in contact with salt water. I mean, just look at any shipwreck, but especially the spring mechanism on the inside of a bolt snap if water is left inside between dives. So pop a drop of natural oil on the inside of that mechanism before the dive to try and coat everything and make sure that it dries thoroughly after the dive and then sort of work that action a few times to break up any salt buildup. That way your, your bolt snaps won't seize up and any water on the inside, it's not actually getting to the metal parts. It just means that your bolt snap is gonna last a lot longer. When you're clipping your bolt snap onto a D-ring or uh, the side of a finger spool, you need to realize that they can actually open themselves if it's facing the wrong way. It's quite rare, but if you do push on the snap and the trigger pushes against something solid, then it can actually open the gate by itself without you knowing. So try to get into the habit of clipping them off facing forwards and how they're attached onto a spool so that they don't disconnect themselves. 
And that was about it. Um, I couldn't really think of a complete 10 tips, I'm afraid, or for uh, for bolt snaps. But if you have any other tips about bolt snaps, then by all means, let everybody know down in the comments section below. If you do need any new bolt snaps to replace your brass ones, then you can find them at simplyscuba.com. I'll pop a link down in the description below. And if you'd like an emotional bolt snap t-shirt or a hoodie or something, you can find them on our spring store by clicking the banner underneath this video on YouTube. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.